health effects of ozone are extremely well documented and range from uh, lung diseases including asthma and difficulties of breathing all the way to premature death. Policymakers are really turning to local governments as really the channel of change. To the extent that those activities are taking place, the Clean Air Act amendments through the provisions uh, uh, that, that designates counties into attainment or out or, or of attainment actually could provide a mechanism for uh, local adaptations. When we put uh, the climate penalty in perspective and start calculating the foregone health benefits, we're actually going to conclude that the foregone health benefits are going to be fairly large. It's very likely that most of the scientific literature overestimates the magnitude of climate penalty. They typically ignore the potential for climate adaptation. In other words, the potential for uh, economic activity and individuals to respond as they are observing the climate effect. The process of ozone formation is complicated because it's going to depend on the precursors, NOx and VOCs, and then depending on the region and the geography, interactions with heat and sunlight generate ozone. Temperature, for the most part, is really the key factor regarding uh, today's level of air quality. I want to emphasize two or three key results here, which I think are quite alarming. The first one is that this penalty basically reduces the effectiveness of the Clean Air Act by about 24%. Either this 24% are gonna have to be translated in foregone health benefits, or for you to avoid this 24%, you're gonna to have to ramp up regulations. Perhaps what's more important is what does this mean in terms of cost? Once you put a dollar amount uh, on these values, now you're getting by 2020 a central estimate of about two, uh, $3 billion, roughly speaking. I want to conclude by asking what does this mean for the current proposals for the reforms of the ozone standard? If you believe the penalty that I calculate associated with, roughly speaking, an increase in one degree Celsius. What that would mean is that for every five parts per billion that you tighten farther the standard, you're only gonna get back a reduction of 3.38. The environmental organizations were a little bit disappointed with the administration in the level of the reform of the standard, partly already arguing that this, the effectiveness of the standard is farther being compromised by the interaction with climate.